Margaret asked, Dave sent me something for the 20th anniversary of the servicefangirl.com domain name, August 4th, 2000. The website had uh, GeoCities domain before that. Uh, can you please ask him if I can post about it at Amok? If not, I, or I'm not going to ruin the surprise unless he wants me to. If he has anything to add to that post, I can get it posted along with pictures. And please thank him for it. It was a welcomed surprise. And no problem, Margaret, and congratulations again on the 20th anniversary of CerebusFangirl.com. As she was saying, doesn't it have to become Cerebus Woman? Uh, uh, fan woman at some point after 20 years and it's like no no it just doesn't have the same ring to it it's got to be servicefangirl.com and the rule on that one is if I send it to you you can post it to Emma uh, use your own discretion remember I'm the opposite of a spoiler alert guy I have absolutely no interest in spoiler alerts uh, because when it comes to any form of entertainment, uh, I'm probably not going to partake of it. Uh, I can definitely say I'm not going to partake of it because it's not um, strange enough of Alex Raymond research or it's not having to do with stuff that I have to do for service. Um, so, you know, if somebody says, uh, have you seen the new Star Wars? It's like, no. Uh, well, because there's, you know, like the big surprise at the end. Oh, what's the big surprise? It's like, you want me to tell you and you haven't seen it? It's like, yeah, I am never going to see the new Star Wars film. So by all means, tell me, uh, tell me what the big surprise is. I don't even remember what I sent to Margaret. I do remember going, uh, well, if I'm congratulating her about the 20th anniversary, I really should send her something. What am I going to send her? Uh, I've got uh, a sneaking hunch what it was that I sent her, but that's all it is, is a sneaking hunch. So, Margaret, this is this is on your head now. Uh, uh, if you think it's a significant enough spoiler alert that uh, you don't want to take personal responsibility for uh, telling people what it is that you got from me, um, then that's your call to make. And if you go, well, what the hell, it'd still be uh, really cool to have it part of a post that uh, I would put up at a moment of service. That's your call as well. And to all of the people out there that go, oh, you spoiled it. Um, sorry, like I say, I'm not, I'm not a spoiler alert guy. So uh, that's, that's a general policy thing. If, if Dave Sims sent you something in the mail, and uh, it's, it's, it seems to you to have it require a spoiler alert. Uh, it is still up to you whether you want to post it to a moment of service. Although uh, Matt Dow will be the final one deciding on that. I mean, Matt's already deciding whether your email even came in in the first place. <laughs> if he decides that your email didn't come in, uh, sorry, your email didn't come in. And uh, if he decides, uh, no, not only does that not need to have a spoiler alert, uh, I don't need that on the website. I'm not, I'm not remotely interested in that. So uh, that doesn't exist. Uh, uh, so there's, there's the two hurdles to well, get over. There's also the problem of I get something, I'm like, okay, this will go up, and then the internet breaks with, you know, we're doing a Kickstarter for the remastered service number one, and I'm like, okay, that's going to have to wait, and then I forget about it. I, I have an email from Siler from a couple of years ago that has the pr preliminary uh, tracing paper for Judenhaus, and I'm, they're really nice pictures, and I'm like, oh, yeah, i gotta, I got to put these up, and then I forget about it, and then I'm cleaning out my email, and I'm like, oh, yeah, i got to put this up, and then I forget about it. Shouldn't you have like a, a file folder for that where if you, as soon as you see something, as soon as it comes in and you go, oh, I definitely want that for the website, uh, just throw it in as uh, all back position. Uh, when you've got other things going on in your life, and, you 
in the name of God, man, you've got two small children. You must have other things going on in your life. Uh, then you just go, okay, uh, just put a date on this one, throw it up, we're all done. You would think that I would get smart enough to do that. <laughs> but you'd be wrong. You would be so wrong. <laughs> That's there. There is a post. I forget what it, what it was about, but the title of the post was one of those quick e one of those quickie posts that takes Matt five hours to write. I was it. I was posting a letter you had written me, and I was going through my fi digital files looking for the letter I'd sent you that you were responding to, and I literally spent four hours going. It's gone. It just it doesn't exist anymore. Which is funny because I have letters from dated before this letter. But this letter, nope, it's gone. Didn't save it. It must, you know, must have been one of those. I wrote it, sent it to you, and then didn't save it or something. But you know, I'm trying to find the context for your letter so that people understand what I'm talking about. And it's like, nope, it's gone. At that point, it's well. I think it was about this. Right, right. Like, come on. This is, there are better uses for four hours of Matt Dow's time. You would think, but no. It's one of those things, once, once you get obsessive about it, I'm trying to train myself that way as well, which is, okay, what am I looking for that's for? And is there a way to just say, okay, I give up looking, um, which, is the, which is, as I say, the same thing that happened with the um, uh, Many Origins of Cerebus uh, article and uh, Service Archive, the 18 issues. Yeah, they exist out there. Yes, uh, I can look for them. Yes, I can try to find them. Uh, no, I don't have time for this right now. I, I've got way too many things that uh, that I'm doing already. I'm trying to get it, trying to get it as simple as possible so that it's down to uh, Waverly Press stuff, which comes down to write stuff and sign stuff. That's what you're doing. You're writing stuff, and you're signing stuff, and that's all that you're doing. And um, I've got my Dagan James pile of faxes, and every time a new one comes in and I answer it, I put it on top of the pile. I'm starting to get organized with Cerebus uh, in Hell. It's like, okay, we're, we're working on three comic books right now. We're working on uh, Public Defender's Annual, uh, Defective Comics, All Black Costume, and um, Cerebus the Emily, uh, number one. So find a buffalo clip and clip everything together. All of, uh, all of the faxes that come in discussing this, sketches, um, how about this, uh, I'll change it a little bit like this, uh, here's an idea for page one, all that kind of, kind of stuff. Just buffalo clip it together. And then uh, I was going into the closet in the office looking, again, looking for something else. And I looked up at uh, one of the hinges, and the hinge had a mid-sized buffalo clip on it. And I went, that's weird. Why would that hinge have a buffalo clip on it? And I took the buffalo clip off of it. And then I went, there's a box of buffalo clips in the closet. And they're the large size. They will actually hold uh, a, a complete Cerebus and L annual, which once you're talking about my mock-ups, 